What's up everyone, how you doing? Uh, Blue Nerd here and welcome back my friends to another Minecraft tutorial. Today we are back with the ship build from our medieval docks and guys this is going to be a pretty big build and there's a couple of things I just want to quickly go over before we get started. So the first thing is I have made a few changes so the ship might look a bit bigger but it's actually the same size it's just because I've enlarged the sails a little bit and I've made them white so that you guys can just either do them in white wool or you can make your own colours up as you go along. Now the ship as you can see the sails are up so this is a docked boat um, this isn't for out in the ocean unless you want it to be anchored down um, so this is just going to be a docked boat for the moment. Now, also guys, it's a pretty big build. This is a 45 by 19 block space that you're going to need to build this one. And there is a small chance, guys, that while I'm building that I might make the odd mistake in this one. And then I have to go back later on maybe and correct it. Now, if I do that, guys, you might want to brief the video first to avoid yourselves having to go back, break something and rebuild it. So you might want to just go through the video first and just make sure that I don't go back and make some changes because... There's a lot of blocks at a lot of different angles and stuff like that in this one. So there is a small chance that I could make a small mistake. Now, with that being said, guys, let's take a quick look at the blocks we're going to need to build this one. Okay, guys, for this build, you're going to need a spruce door, some spruce planks, stairs, slabs, trapdoors, and fences, some stripped dark oak logs, dark oak planks, stairs, and slabs, some oak planks, stairs, and trapdoors, some smooth stone blocks, some cobblestone wall, iron bars, and some glass panes of your choice. Some white wall, or whichever color wall you want for the color of your sails. So go ahead and choose any one you want. And then just some decorational blocks for the ship. So I've got some note blocks, a cartography table, and some barrels. And then just some ladders as well so that we can make a ladder up to the little crow's nest at the top. And with that being said, guys, let's go ahead and build this. Alright guys, before we get started, as you can see, the blue mark in here, this is where the water level is going to be. So you want to bring a pillar up from under the water, and then once you get to the top of your water here, you want to place it one block above the water like so, and that is going to be our starting block, okay? And it's going to be right in the center here of these five windows that we have on the main bit of the boat here, okay? So we've got these two here, but on this one piece that sticks out, we've got five windows. We're going to start right where that middle window should be, okay? So, go ahead and do that. Get your first starting block, and then we will start from there. Right, guys, once you've got your starting block and you're one block above the water here, you want to go one, two, three blocks on this side, and then three blocks on this side, making it seven in total, okay? Then we're going to place a block just in here for the moment and go one, two. We can break that one behind. Then we're going to go in, place one here, and then go one, two again, and we can break that one behind. Then we're going to place one here, place one there, break that one, and then bring this one inwards like this. Okay, so we should have two, two, and two, and then seven for this one here. Now, round here, we're going to do the same thing on this end. So place one there, and then we're going to go five blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, and then we'll break that end one. Then we're going to go with two. So we place one there, and then go one, two, break this block here. Then we're going to place one here, place one block there, break that one behind. And again, one here, and then we're going to go one, two, three, four, and then we're going to break that one there. Okay. Now, that is one half of the ship. We're going to have another piece through the center here, which is going to be where the dark point is for the sh for the uh, center of the boat. Okay, so what we're going to do is come to the back here. We're going to place a dark oak plank there. Then we're going to use our spruce again and re basically repeat the same pattern on the opposite side, but reversed. So we're going to go two like that. Then we're going to have two there, another two. Then we're going to go seven, so that's two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then we're going to place one there, and we're going to go one, two, three, three, four, five. Break the back one. Then we're going to come in and do two, then one, and then place one there, and then we're going to go four, just like so. Okay, and there is our pattern for the boat. Right guys, once you've got that done, let's go on to the inside here. Now this is where it will be awkward if you're doing this in survival, because what you have to do is put one here, one underneath, 
and we're gonna have to start working down under the water now okay because this would be above the water level this would be the water level here okay so bring seven across like this so we have matching up with the seven that we have there then we're gonna go one there and bring two over we can break that one for now place one here one here break that one and bring another one over here okay and then the next one should be the center block so we're gonna leave that as it is down this end here, we're going to place one there temporarily, and then we're going to go one, two, and three. Break that one at the back. Then we're going to place one here, and then go one, two, three, four. Break this one here. And then finally, place one here, and then we're going to go um, one here, break that one, and then underneath here, place one there. So we have two, okay? So on this next row here, you're looking at two, four, three seven two and two and we want to basically reverse it and repeat it onto this side over here okay so if we come down to the very front now we can go underneath where the uh four at the front here is placed one underneath then we're going to go one there to make that two brace one there one there break that one and we're going to go one two three we're going to put one behind it one over two three Place one there, one over, and bring it down seven. One there, place two behind it, break that one. One there, one there, break that one, and one over like so. And there we go. We've got the next layer in place. Okay, now we're going to go further down again. So this time we're going to go down. And again, guys, here, remember, you're going to be underneath the water. So once you've got this area in, you probably want to try and use either sand or... Um, and then you can dry the water out or use some sponges But you want to make sure you get the wood in place first and make sure there's no holes so that the water don't leak back in So let's get this space in first. So for the next one Find the center here of this seven block long one And then you want to place one on the lower one there and then one underneath break the top one place one two and Then one and two. Okay, so we've got five this time now, going towards the back of the boat, we're going to go one like this, okay? So we're diagonally in from one, so there will be a gap there for the moment. Then we're going to go in by two, and then one on that corner, just like that, okay? Just a little twist. Right, that's perfect. Now, down to the front here, place one right there for the moment, and then we're going to go one, two, break that one there. Place another one there, and again, we're going to go two blocks, break the one behind. And then here, we're going to place one here, and then we're going to go one, two, three, four, like so, and break that one behind. Now, we are in the center, guys, but we can uh, that we don't need to worry too much about that at the moment. This is just for the shape. Now, again, we want to reverse this onto the opposite side of the boat. So here, we've got the one already in the center, so let's go one, two, and then one down. Diagonally to bring one in, and in fact, what's going? We're wrong there. Let's, let's do that again. Place one here, then one in. Okay, because we need that two block gap like we've got there. Then we go in by one, in by one again, and then two, three, four, five. Then we've got two, so let's place one there, one, two, break that one. Two again, so one there, one, two, break the back one, and there we go. Okay, that gives us the shape for the bottom of the boat. So, here guys, what we're going to do is where we've got the seven, let's place a stair upside down there, and a stair upside down there, and then we're going to run the upside down ones across and join it like so. And then on the opposite side, do exactly the same thing on the seven long one. So one there, one there, and then bring it all the way across. Now guys, I'm going to try and remember and keep this all the way it needs to go, but there's a chance here we could make a mess up. So ignore the top ring for a minute, and that second ring where we started, let's go a stair facing towards the back of the boat. Then we're going to go a stair facing inwards to the side, and then one to the back like so. Yeah? Now we're going to place one on this side, matching up with there. And again, we're going to go around to this side here, one to the side, and one inwards like that. Let's place a plank there and a plank there. And we might as well just place a plank in the center for the moment. Now down to the front of the boat down here, we're gonna place a stair that way 
Okay, so we've got these seven blocks here, so we're on the next one across. Then we're going to place one there and then one that way. Okay, here we're going to place one, uh, sorry, one inwards like that, one sideways, one that way. Okay, just like we did on this piece here. And then this one here, let's place a stair there and then a stair there as well, facing towards the front. Okay, so I hope that makes sense, guys. It, it, it is a little bit confusing, um, but hopefully it's easy enough for you guys to follow along. Let's go around to this side, and we'll do the same thing. So there's the front of the boat, so we're going to place a stair going in, sideways, and then inwards. Inwards again, sideways, and then inwards, and then inwards, and inwards. Perfect. Okay, on the top ones here, guys, we're going to go a stair, 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 and a stair, like that. Okay, all coming down from the front of the boat. And then at the back, we're going to go stair, 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 like that. And then stair, stair, and a stair. Right, guys, for the next layer here, what we're going to actually do is we're going to actually place two there, one there, five across here, two there, two there and then four across there okay so basically just doubling up the width of that bottom level again at the back here we're going to go one then we're going to go two five two two and four like that all the way across now at the very back here we're going to place an upside down stair this side and this side of the five blocks on the bottom there then we're going to place another upside down stair there. On the side here, we're going to place an upside down stair there. One there. Leave the center one for the second. Um, yeah, leave the center one and break that one and that one actually for the second. We can leave those. Then here we're going to go a full, a, um, a stair. And then we'll face a stair inwards. Then that way and that way. And then again, of course, on this one like that. Okay, so I hope that makes sense for you guys. Okay, so now from this side here again, guys, we're going to place a stair, and this is facing towards the front of the boat there. Okay, so we've got the stair there, we've got a second stair here, then we're going to go a stair and one, two slabs, and then in front of this one here, we're just going to place a slab. Okay, and if we come around to the other side here, we've got a stair there, so we're going to go stair, a stair, slab, slab. And then a slab on that one there. And that should give us a little bit more of the shape that we're looking for for the bottom of the boat now. So what we're going to do now is get our spruce planks. And what we'll do is, I'll tell you what, let's just go in there. Place two in here. Join these ones here all the way over. So basically you're filling in the floor for the boat. So just place all of this in here. Just like so. And then what we do is we'll get a dark oak plank in there. And then we just cover two in there for the dark oak planks. And one, two, three, four in there for dark oak. Right, now what we're going to do here is if we come underneath... We're going to place in a plank right there. So that's right where the slabs are at the very front here. Let's place in a plank there as well for now. Then we're going to place a dark oak plank there. We're going to run that all the way down to the back of the boat. Right to there. And then break that one at the end there and place one in there. Okay, so we get this little bit of a group. And we will be thickening this up to make a bit more of a different peak for the front of the boat. But let's get the upper levels in on the boat first of all, so that we can get sort of uh, a full idea of the shape, and then we can get the sort of extension through the centre there in afterwards. Alright guys, before we move on, let's just quickly get in a little slab just underneath here. So where this stair is here, the one that curves around, so you've got a stair facing backwards, sideways, and then one that faces back again. Place a slab just in front of that one, and do the same on this side here, which is that one there. Perfect, and we did actually miss on this side. We've done the stairs and that down this side. So let's make sure we go ahead and get everything on this side as well. So stair, 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 and a stair. 
and I think that is good we've got everything all in place all the way around now okay so now at the very front we're gonna go ahead and place a slab here and a slab here and if we come down to where these seven bit is where the bit that sticks out on the side is at the most place a slab there and we'll do the same on this side here a slab there then we're gonna get our planks and we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten across like so. Again, from this side here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, now we should be able to place one here, and then we'll be able to place one on every other block, like this, and then on this end, there's two. Okay, so one at that end, skip one block all the way across, and then place two just here. Okay, that looks good. And then we're just going to put a block on top and then run a row all the way across to this one here. Let's go ahead and repeat that on this side. So if we start from this side, we can place two here and then leave a one block gap between the rest. One on top there and then bring it all the way down until we get to the top of that. Right guys, I did make a little mistake here. So let's just quickly go ahead. Let's, um, let's fill these holes in here for the moment. Okay, and we'll fill these holes here for the moment as well. Let's fill those. So now we've got that in place, we're going to go ahead and get a stair. And we're going to place a stair like that upside down, just one above the slab and out over this side. Same over here. Then we're going to place one, two, and one, two, just like that, okay? Out down the back here, we're going to place another stair here and another stair here. And again, we're going to raise those by two as well. And I think now we should be able to place one here. So we've got one block there. Then we go two, three, four, and five. And that leaves us two blocks there, which is perfect. So we've got five windows across the front there. Over this side here, this is the side with two. So we'll go down one block, leave two blocks there. Then break one, two, three, four, and five. And that's perfect. Let's place an upside down stair here. And upside down stair here and we'll do the same for this side here okay that's perfect in fact guys this stair isn't here this stair will actually end up being one up so if we put a block there and a block there then we're gonna put the stair there and the stair there okay guys for the next bit here we're gonna place a stair right next to the upside down stair there and then three more to bring them level like that then we're gonna place one here one here and then one, two, three across the top there. Now that gives us an extra little window just there. Right next to the window here, we're gonna put an upside down stair with a full block just on top there. And then an upside down stair facing from the side like this, okay? And then let's go ahead and repeat the same thing over here. So four blocks across the front, one here, one here, three across the top. Stair just on the, on the level where the window is a full block on top and a stair from the side. Okay guys, the next bit is pretty easy. We're gonna place two blocks in this bit here. We're gonna place one there, one there, one in front and break that one there. And then just behind here, we're gonna place a full block on that one. I think we can get away. Let's actually, let's actually just connect those two there just to make a little full kind of pathway there for the window. Then we're gonna place a stair here and then a stair here a full block up here and then a stair facing outwards like that at the very top and then of course we're going to repeat that on this side over here so again we're going to go two blocks like this place one block there one block there and there we can break the middle one and then join those up there and stick one extra outwards like this and then we're going to go a stair a stair and then a sideways stair like so now the next bit of the front here guys is going to be a stair this way and then a stair that way okay and then it's the same again around here we're going to go stair and then a stair like that okay so now what we're going to do is go one two three blocks like this with a stair on the front then one two three blocks here with a slab on top then we're going to go one two three blocks with a sideways stair and then a slab like this okay and then repeat that on this side here so we're gonna go a, a, a block right next to the stair two three to bring it out so it's level with our one below then we're gonna put a stair 
Again, where this stair is here, one block, two block, three block, and then slab. Where that stair is there, we're going to go one block, two block, three block, then a sideways stair and a slab in front of it. All right, guys, so for the next bit here, we're going to actually come right down to the bottom here. We're going to break that slab and turn it into a plank. Then we're going to put a slab, break the stair here. That's going to be a full plank and then a slab here like so. Let's do the same on this side. So go ahead, break that slab, put a plank, slab, break the stair, put a full block and then a slab. Oops, wrong one, slab. Okay, just to give us a little bit of a smoother transition up at the front here. Okay, now we're going to place two blocks here like this and then two more in front like that. And again, we'll do that there just like that to bring that out like so and then place a slab on the front of those two. Right guys, we're just going to slightly change that actually. We're going to go ahead and break that slab there and that slab there. So where these stairs are here, you want a full block and a full block like this. Okay, then the slab goes underneath that one. Break these two slabs and then put a full block like this. And then I think, let's see, how do we go? Then we're going to go a slab there, a slab there, and then one more slab underneath that one there. Okay, that's looking a bit better. And then I think here we're going to go a stair and a stair like so. Let's get our blocks and place three blocks here and three blocks here like so. We'll place another stair on front like that. And then again, we're going to do the same thing. So three more blocks. Stair on front like that. And then the very top here is going to be slightly different. So we're going to go one, two, and then stick one out extra by three. So one, two, and three, the extra one, slab and a slab. So we have something a bit like that. Right, okay, what we're going to do, let's place two full blocks here, okay, of the spruce planks like that, right next to where we've got the stair on this long section. Then for a second, what we're going to do is just place where we've got this stair here. We want one block just in front for a second. And we want an upside down stair facing backwards. And then we're just going to run stairs all the way back and join up with that. Like that, okay? And then on the last stair here, we're going to put a slab. And then we're going to put planks across like so. Let's do the same thing on this side because we don't do too much without confusing ourselves. So let's place two full blocks here. One block in the front of that one, an upside down stair heading backwards. Then we're going to bring the stairs all the way down like this. Place a slab here and then four blocks across like that. Right, okay, for the next bit, guys, let's get our planks. We're going to go two blocks here right on top of this stair, okay? So now we're at the back of the boat here. And then we're going to put a stair here. We're going to go one, two, three, then a stair. Then we're going to go one, actually, one, two, three, one, two, three, and then a stair on top like so, okay? And then this is going to be, I think, where the window is. So we're going to go one there, one there like that, and that's going to be the window, and then we can just connect it across the top like so. Okay, let's do that on the opposite side over here. So let's grab our planks. We're going to go one, two, and then a stair. Then we're going to go one, two, uh, one, two, and then a stair on top. Then on top of this one, we're going to go one, two, three. Then we're going to go one, two, three again, a stair on there. We're going to place a block here, a block here, and then three like that to cover the top like so. Okay, right. Let's put a stair here. And we're also going to put a stair here, just like so. And I think that is looking pretty good. Alright guys, before we move on, I did make, make a little mistake there. Let's break that stair there and that stair there. We're going to place a full block on top. A full block on top, a stair here and a stair here, upside down, okay? And then that way we should be able to do our next little bit of um, sort of like a railing like this. That will come around the top here, okay? So let's just place another one and I think it might be two blocks like that. And we'll do the same around here. One, two. Right. Okay, guys, for this next bit, we're going to place two blocks here, two blocks on top, an upside down stair. Then we place one block on top, 
uh, with another block on top of that. Then we're going to go a sideways stair like this and then two blocks on top like so. Okay. Then at the very top here where the first block is, place a stair facing outwards and a block on top like this. And then at the very back here, place two more blocks on top of there. Now onto this side here, let's do the same thing. So we're going to go two, then two, a stair, one block, one block, stair, no, sorry, stair facing like this, block on top, stair facing outwards, one, two, one, two. Right guys, I am slightly struggling on getting this next bit right, so just bear with me. First of all, let's place a block behind this stair here, okay? And we'll do the same on the other side. Then we're going to place one towards the back and one underneath like this, okay? Now, we're going to put in a stair upside down like this. And then on top of this, we're going to go one and two, one and two, and then join them together across there. In the middle, let's go one and two, okay? So we're going to put an upside down stair there and then two normal stairs like this, okay? For our window at the very back. Then we're going to put an upside down stair in there. Right, okay guys, we're going to come to the inside now. And behind these two stairs, let's place three blocks like that. And then three blocks in here like so. Then we're going to go one, two here and one, two just there. Then back on the outside here, we're going to come into here and I think we're just going to go an upside down stair that way, that way, and then one in the center like that, just to finish off that piece of the window there. And I think that is actually looking pretty good. Um, I think this one here, we're going to face that one in sideways and this one here face that in sideways. And I think it might look better if we break those two and put some four blocks across here and then we can go three stairs underneath like so. Right, okay, now above the windows here, we're going to come over one and place five upside down stairs like that. Okay, and then we're going to place five four blocks on top. Perfect. Okay, so now in the center for the minute, I'm going to put, actually, no, not center, we'll place a temporary block there and then the same on this corner here. And we're going to place two stairs like this, two stairs like this, break that one and break that one and a slab in the center. Now, again, we're going to actually place another block there temporarily and another one there and then have two stairs like this, break that one, two stairs here and break that one. Right, okay now, so for the next level here guys, what we're going to do is place again a temporary block there and we're going to go one, two stairs like that and we'll do the same thing over here, temporary block, two stairs, break the one behind it like that. Right, so now let's put a, a stair, a normal one on there and a normal stair on this side too, okay, just to kind of smooth the transition onto the stairway. Now again, over here guys, just put a temporary block there and we're gonna go one, two, three, and then a normal stair there and break that one. Over here again, temporary block, one, two, three, upside down stairs and a normal one like that, break that one at the back. Okay, now first of all guys, let's go ahead and get our dark oak block and we're gonna place one here and one, actually no, we we'll just leave that as it is and we're gonna put a stair and a stair, okay? And then I think right in the middle here, we'll go ahead and use a stair as well. And then we might as well finish it into this final bit with a full block. Just like that. Um, I'm not going to bring it out a bit. I don't think we really need to. If you wanted to, you could bring it down by one. So you could have the full block here. If you wanted it just to have that little bit more of an indentation. So you could do something like that. Go ahead and put that in. Stair just there. And then some full blocks like that. Just if you wanted it to have that little bit more of an indentation. Um, but I don't think you really need it, but it's uh, it's entirely up to you guys. If you wanted to run it all the way up, you could. I mean, like I say, you could bring it up to here. Like that, and then have your stair about there. Maybe even one, one further down. Which probably looks a bit better, actually, to be honest with you. Let's break that stair there, and let's put a slab 
and maybe a second slab as well just to bring a little bit of a nicer curve in right okay guys so now let's just get the rest of our radians and part of the front of the ship in now so what we're going to do is place a block on top of this upside down stair here and then we're going to place one two three upside down stairs leading backwards to finish off the rest of the banner there and we're going to do the same over here so one block there and then one two three upside down stairs okay right now that we've got that in place we're gonna actually um i'll tell you what let's actually place a full block there with a slab there and then a full block and a slab there oops make sure that's a slab and then we're gonna actually break that block there and add in an extra stair and an extra stair just makes it look a bit longer i think right okay so now here we're gonna actually start bringing this just up a little bit so let's go ahead and place a block on top of all of this edge like this okay we don't need to place one in the corner pieces here just on the outer edge and we'll do the same over here so let's go ahead and go one there across there and across there like so and where we got that slab let's go ahead and actually just put one in there as well okay now get your spruce slabs and we're gonna go one two three like this so one on that four block on the corner right there and then two three that looks pretty good and then we're gonna just place a slab on there like so and i think we actually place a second slab and one underneath just to make it look a bit smoother Let's go a slab there, there, and there. Okay, so now we're going to go four blocks across the rest. Just like that. And I think we go something like that, that, a four block, and then an upside, uh, uh, then a slab on the top. So upside down stair, full block, full block, and a slab. And then right at the very front here, guys, just place a full block and then a slab poking out like that. And I think what we're going to do is change this bit down the bottom here. So break the block on the slabs here and put in a stair. Maybe like that and maybe a slab instead of a full block underneath it. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Right, guys, I do apologize. What we're going to do is break this layer off the very top front part of the boat here. Just break this layer. This is a little bit off. And then what we're going to do is break these two slabs here and these two slabs here. And then we place two there, two there. In fact, three, bring it all the way up to the front. A slab there, a slab there. Then we're going to one there, one there, and a slab there, and a slab there okay just to bring that sort of a bit more at a better level now for the front of the boat here where we got these slabs let's put some four blocks across like this so let's go for let's go for four of them at the moment okay so the first thing i want to do is create this peak that comes out here now the reason we need to do this first is because we've got to make sure that this can land on a full block okay if we don't land on a full block and it ends up on a slab, we ain't going to be able to connect our fence. And that's very important for the look. So, let's go ahead and we've got one, two, three, four. So now we're going to put a slab there. Then we're going to go one and two like this. So we should have three. Then we're going to go up by one more. And then we're going to go one, two, three, four, five. Underneath here, we're going to go two inside there and then one here one here one underneath that one there okay and i think that should should do the job that's about right now let's start bringing this this dark oak piece down through the center here as a kind of uh the guide in the water so um let's see do, 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 do. we're gonna start by going because it starts to thicken up as it comes down. So we want to go with a full block in there. Let's put one behind. 
another one behind that. And what we're going to do is wherever we've got these stairs and slabs here, let's just put a full block by the start side of the stairs and the slabs. Like this, all the way in. Just to fill that up. Now, what we're going to do is go underneath here, bring this dark oak planks all the way up until you reach this slab on the very bottom. It's the first slab on the end of the line. And then we want to have a stair underneath it in the center there. So we're going to go a stair. We're going to place a full block, another stair, and then a slab. And then make sure you've got a full block above it like this. Okay. Now, we just want to basically create a kind of smooth bit that goes arched up to that point. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go a full block here and here. Okay. We'll go ahead. We'll put in a stair here and a stair here. And I think we can actually do that a bit better. Let's go with a full block. Then a slab. Two full blocks here. Let's put a full block up there. And in fact, no, that's, that's, that's going a bit funny. Let's break that one, break that one. We'll have to go with a slab there. So stair, slab, stair here, and then we can put in a stair on there, a full block. And it's still not quite as smooth as I would like. What about a stair, a stair there and there? That's not bad. Let's see if we can bring it in just a little bit because it still looks like it comes out a bit too far. Or maybe we need to thicken this bit up here. Yeah, let's go for a slab there, a slab there. Yeah, that actually looks better, actually, like that. And then we're going to break. So we've got a top stair there. One, two, break the third one, the fourth one, like that. We're going to place in a slab just there. And then this slab here, we'll break that and we'll put in a stair. It looks better, but it's still not quite as well as the other one. Let's break that one there. Let's put in a stair there. How does that look? I think that looks better, actually. And that full block there, we could change for a stair probably as well. Yeah, that's good. I like that. That's looking good now. That's looking much better. Um, yeah, I think that's good. I think... Yeah, I think we're, I think we're going to stick with that. I do like that, but it still looks... <laughs> I'm very fussy, guys. I am too fussy. Let's place, replace that stair with a slab. Yeah, there we go. That looks much better. Right, okay. So, now we have finally got the outline of the ship in place. And guys, I really hope you have been able to follow along to this point, okay? If you have any issues, please be sure to let me know in the comments and I will do my best to help you. You can also come on to my Discord and ask me any questions on there. Probably a little bit easier talking on Discord and I can also share pictures with you as well on there, which makes it a little bit easier to explain things. So be sure to check the link out in the description for my Discord. Okay, right, now we've got that in place. Let's start working on our platform. So first of all, we're going to come onto the inside here and right where these little stairs are across here, right, one level down is going to be the floor. So let's go ahead and just fill a floor level in all the way across and we'll break out an area to get underneath afterwards. So let's go ahead and fill this in all the way across. Alright guys, once we've got that all in place, let's come up to the front of the boat here. Let's go ahead and just put in a few around this little edge like this. And then we're just going to grab our oak slabs. And we're just going to put a few of those in at the front here as well. So let's just go something like that, just to create a little bit of shape here like so. Now these blocks here, do they get seen? They do get seen. So let's go ahead and... Let's put stairs in that way, like that. So break those out, put two stairs in, just like so. This one here can be broke, so we can replace that with a oak plank. 
these ones down here we can break that one we can't break that one though that's where one of our windows are okay that's fine so again over here let's break that one and replace that with that and i think that is probably good can we do that one no and it doesn't matter because these are gonna get covered up anyway right let's go ahead break this one here and put in a stair like this and a stair like this which just gives a much nicer shape to the front of the boat here and guys, I've got to say, I actually think I prefer the way this one has turned out than my actual one over here. I think the front of it actually looks much better. So, I think maybe go two and two like that to finish that one up. Let's break that one like that. We could put one of those. And I suppose actually you could leave that as a full one like that. All right, guys. Okay, so for the next level, what we're going to actually do is where the windows at the back here are, break these five blocks across the top and put in your oak planks across like so. Then from the center, count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then we just want to basically fill the floor all the way out until we reach that point. Okay, all the way to there. Do the same over here. Okay, what's down here? We can replace that one with a full block as well, just like that. Now, what we're going to do is place two stairs here, two stairs here, and two stairs here. And again, the same here. Go two, then go down by two, and down by two. Okay, get your spruce planks, and you can just place basically cover in the gap there so you are level with the stairs. Okay, so there's a block by the side of the stairs. Do the same here, block by the side of the stairs, fill it into there, and we can just actually take that one back if we wanted to, like this. Okay. Now, place upside down stairs across these ones. Okay. Upside down stairs here and here. Then, we're going to place... Oh, how do we do this one again? I think we've done a normal stair at the top, and then an upside down stair facing inwards like this and then this is going to be where we have our first pole coming up here at the very back for the sails now come to the very center of the boat here where the stair is and right where the upside down stairs here which is this block we're going to go one two three break the fourth one and then we're going to go actually no we're going to break the fifth one this one then break one that side, one that side, one there, one there, one there. Okay, just like that. And then just put your oak trap doors all the way around the edge. Like so. Right, okay guys. So first of all, we're going to get the poles in for the sails here. So let's start with this one at the very back, which is going to be right in this little gap here that we left. So let's go one there. And we're going to go two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Okay. Now, staying in the center of the ship here, on the other side of this hole here, where the trapdoor is, go one block and then two block gap, uh, two blocks, so leave a one block gap between it. You can go one there, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 21 22 23 and then over here at the very front here right in this little gap here at the very front place one there and we're going to go two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen sorry seventeen huh, one too many so we've got sixteen seventeen and then twenty three in the middle Okay, working on the top of the poles next, we're going to go ahead and put in a smooth stone, or you can even use polished andesite, I think it works just as well. Then we're going to go cobblestone wall, polished andesite, another wall, then we're going to go two spruce fences, and then three iron bars. Okay, just like that. And we're going to do the same thing to these two, so a smooth stone block or polished andesite, Cobblestone wall, another another smooth stone, 
then a wall two fences and then three iron bars and then we're going to do the same for this one over here again Okay guys, we're going to start putting in the connections for the sails. So at the very back here, on this back pole, we're going to go from the very top here, we're going to go down by three. So one, two, three. On the bottom half of that block, put a slab and then place six out to one side. So one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Go one in and place a slab on top and one in and place a slab on top, just like that. Now, on the middle one here, we're going to have two. So let's go to the very top and where the dark oak is, go down by two blocks on the bottom half, place a slab, then one, two, three, four, five. And then this side here, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, and that's all we need to do for that one. Now, from the very top again, go down by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. Okay, on the 11th block down, place one there and then go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight on this side. Leave these two, place one on top of that one. And then this side, do the same again. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Leave the two on the end and place one in just there. Now, on the very front here, you're going to come to the dark oak again at the front. From the top block, one, two, three, four, five down. On the bottom half, place a slab. One, two, three, four, five, six. Place one on top. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then one on top of that one. Right, okay. That is all of our posts all in place and ready to start getting our cells in place. But before we do that, Let's go ahead and put in the little kind of um, crow's nest at the top here. So let's first of all grab our spruce stairs. And what we're going to do is at the very top here on this dark oak, um, the stripped dark oak log, we we'll place a stair there, upside down low. Place one here. Okay, make sure it's facing backwards like that. Then place one here and start wrapping it all the way around. Once you get here, we want one like that. And we're going to leave the bit here empty because we're going to have some ladders going all the way down. So if we quickly grab our ladders. And what we do is from right there, bring your ladders all the way down to the bottom. All the way down like that. And then at the very top here, what we're going to quickly just do, just temporarily, is place a bunch of slabs all the way around the outer edge these are only temporary we're going to break those in just a second but it just makes it easier for us to place our trap doors so we're going to place one two three one two three one two three and one two three and then open them all up and then break the slabs around the edge Okay, and there we go. We've got our little crow's nest at the very top of the masts. And I think that is looking pretty good. Now, let's get in our spru let's get our spruce fence. And right at the very front here, we're going to go ahead and we're going to go on this one here, I think. Okay, so place a stair, a uh, fence there. Then place one on top. And we're going to start ste stepping them up like this. Okay, so go um, two at the front there, then go up one. One there and just keep going up like this one out one up one out one up and you want to do it all the way until you join up with the pole in the middle there okay guys right we've got that one connected as you can see we stair stepped it all the way up to the top here and we're going to just add one more in there like that just to make sure it looks connected then from behind the back here, we're going to go just up one more block. So we're one block below the top here. Let's go one, two like this. And then we're going to add a third one. Let's go underneath. Place one here. One, two. We go down one more. One, two, three. 
and join up like that and it depends where you want the curve to go you could put it there if you want it just depends how you want it to connect but i think that looks pretty good okay right now on the side here where we've got this full block let's go ahead and place a fence there and then we're going to go one and two just like that let's go down one one and two just like that then we're going to go over to this one go one two two three in a row then we're going to go down one out one one and two then we're going to go down one and join together like so then we're going to repeat that over on this one here again very simple so one two three then we're going to go down add another two another three underneath like that place three against this one here one two three here like this and then we just want them to join up so let's place one one down and then connect them up like so like that there we go okay right now the rest of them we're gonna connect up a little bit late actually no we can get two in at the back here so right at the very back right on this one here right where that stair is there so you come up the stairs it's the block right in the corner there and the corner there let's go one two three one's already there two and three and basically you want to make a connection up to this point here okay and one on this side to this point here so it depends how you really want to do it it is literally one block over so let's go up one more block making that one four then we can go one block here one and two and three one over this way one two And in fact, let's go one, one there. We go one over, one there. Let's break that one and then come down once more to this one. That looks pretty good. Let's go one more on top, one more here. One, two, and was it three? I think it was three. One on the side here, one on top, one on the inside, one up, and then one there and one there there we go that connects up the cells now we will be connecting one more up over here as you can see this one here but this is going to connect to the actual sail itself okay so we're going to do that one after okay right so now getting in the cells now guys these are going to be dock cells like i said so this boat is going to be docked somewhere in a harbor or something like that so the sails are going to be up now if you want to put the sails on yourself and decide how you want to do them or how you want to connect them that's entirely up to you you're more than welcome to um, but for me guys i'm gonna do it fairly simple so basically underneath here you just want to create a bit of a shape now for the ones over here you can see i've kind of just made like a little kind of sort of i don't know like a sort of hanging shape almost as if like as if there was a big sail hanging down and just something's pulled it in the center to give it a little sort of hook okay so Let's see if we can kind of do that for this side. So first of all, starting on the corner, I'm going to go one there, two. Then we're going to drop down and go one and two. Maybe we'll go one more, go across by two. Then we're going to bring it back up. Maybe about here, something like that. Go across, do the same again here and repeat the pattern for a minute. And bring it over, one, two two down this side and then two down again was it like that yeah i think that was how, how it was then do that and then what we're just going to literally do is fill out the front of it like this just in front of the um in front of the hanging piece in front of the empty spaces only like that let's do the same over here And then here you could just kind of fiddle around with it. So break some extra ones where you want to. Just changing it up a little bit. Um, if Only if you want to though. You haven't got to. Just to make it look a little bit more like it's sort of, sort of dangling down a bit properly. Um, you know, almost like the wind is just blowing in it. Even though it's only sitting still. 
but there could be a bit of a breeze just blowing in that just to bring it out a little bit so we get something kind of like that for the sail here now for this piece going up here this big sort of um this big connection here where we'd have another sail on the front for here we're gonna just kind of um just keep it quite simple here so first of all let's run some wall all the way up and now and again you can just skip a block just so it doesn't look like it's folded on there perfectly place some down the side again now and again you can skip a block or just place them slightly unevenly something like that then again this side will go up here maybe something like that just makes it look like it's possibly sort of just been a little twisted as it's gone up and then from here guys because we've got these big bits sticking down we don't really need all of these you can just go ahead and break some of them like this something like that just to make it look a little bit sort of better and if you wanted to i mean you can still just cover some of these if they look a bit out of place so yeah now so we've got that one in guys we've got the front one in now do you, all we've got to do now is just make some big sales for the other side uh, so basically dangling a sow up here here and here and obviously this one's going to be a big sow So make this one your biggest sow that's dangling This one's going to be a little bit smaller and then the one at the back again Maybe a tiny bit smaller because it's the sow right at the back But try and judge it by the size that they would be so over here guys I'm not going to do and let you know exactly how they're placed But you guys can kind of see the idea because it's a little bit awkward to show you so if we go down say three We could go say two one Possibly even bring it over a bit more like that. It's just kind of playing around until you're happy with the kind of shape of it, really. So you could put, say, some in here like that. And then let's put one on the outer edge here and start filling in the spaces, one in front. Again, so that it looks like there's a little bit of wind from behind blowing the sails, even though they are held up. And again, let's put one in the center here. Let's bring this one down again. Try and make it look a little bit different to the other side, maybe. Um, I mean, even if you wanted to, you could even bring bits further back. So like that. So it almost looks like it's blowing in the wind. You know, go back a little bit further. Which actually looks pretty cool, actually. I like the way that looks. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Yeah, I think something like that, guys. And then we're going to obviously go ahead and do the same thing for a little one up here. Again, trying to do the same kind of shape. But again, this one's just going to be a little bit smaller. Alright guys, and one more sow at the back here, again doing the same thing. So again, we just want to curve around, almost like an upside down B shape if you like. So you kind of come in like this. Okay, in there, so you got a bar across there and then you got a sort of rounded shape and then another rounded shape here. Yeah, something kind of like that. Maybe one little bit down there. All right, guys. So our sails are all connected up now. So let's connect the sails to the boat. So let's go ahead down here and we're going to go from this little gap here. One, two, three. So we're, oops. So we're in line with the um, trap door there. I think we're going to do it from that one. Go two, three. And we just want to choose a point really to connect the, um, connect them up. So maybe like in here and then come down something like that and then we just really want to come up and sort of over towards it
something like that i think that would be pretty good you know if you don't want to you can leave that bit there if you want if you don't want to have it connected at that point let's do another one over here and obviously this out this side's a little bit different so we're going to probably connect it slightly different but then again that makes it look more realistic as well which is good let's bring it up and i think actually we're going to connect it straight onto that point in there in the corner Ooh. like that actually no we're going to connect it over to this one so one here let's come in down Let's connect it in this side, I think, like that. Break that one now. I think we're connected one down. Yeah, that looks good. All right, yes, guys. I am definitely happy with that now. So that's looking really good. We've got everything pretty much in place. The only thing to do now is really just a little bit of decorating. So I think we're going to put some fences across the grate here. These are the oak fences. Then over here, let's place in a bunch of barrels at all different angles like this maybe even throw in a few um, of our note blocks like this when you've got little gaps like this where some of the wood is seen you can go ahead and cover it up with some of your note blocks or barrels um, spot just you know drop things about wherever you want guys something like this you can even get some melons on pumpkins if you wanted and just load up a few of those on there so it looks like you've got some food Let's go ahead and let's get some, yeah, let's get some pumpkins. Why not? We'll do the pumpkins. So you could go ahead and just stack a pile of pumpkins up somewhere, like uh, just over here, maybe. Something like that. That might look good. You could even combine it with the two of them. So melons and pumpkins. So we can make it look like there's a bit of a variety there. Something like that, maybe. Actually, let's put one of those there. Let's put that one there. Yeah, that looks good. So I got a bit of food storage there. Okay, so this bit here is looking pretty good. You could go ahead and probably put some more things around here if you want to, guys. But I'm going to leave that bit there like that. At the back here, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to put in a cartography table in the center here with two upside down stairs at each side. So create like a little kind of little workspace. Um... What else can we do? Let's put in a lantern at each side like this. Over here, where the mast is, to one side, put two fences like this. And then your oak trap door like that to make it look like a little steering wheel. Then we're going to put in a stair there, a stair there. And then I think we're going to get some slabs actually for the next bit. Yeah, we'll get some slabs. Let's get our slabs. Um... And the slabs, just place two slabs in there. And again, let's put a lantern right there so the, the uh, captain who's driving the boat can see what he's doing. And again, guys, up here, just uh, just throw in a bit of storage, you know. Th throw in a few barrels, a few chests, you know. Whatever you want for your storage is good. You know, something kind of like this. It doesn't matter how you do it. And I'd say that's good. Okay, and again, you can also throw things like the cartography table in here and there, you know, randomly. I think they look pretty good, so you can throw those in. Um, that looks pretty good. And sometimes, a little one, something that does look pretty effective if, if you get your ladders, and you can throw things like ladders onto some of these. It just looks, I don't know, like little straps that are holding them. It just adds a little bit of, uh, little bit of extra detail there, I think. All right, okay, so now we've got that in place, let's go in here. Let's get ourselves a spruce door, first of all. And we're going to go on the inside and place a nice door right there. Where the, where the pumpkins are here, let's just place in some planks there just to fill that section up. And over here, can we break that? No, we can't. So what we're going to do, let's fill all of this wall in here like that. Nice little gap. And we'll do the same over this side here. Fill those in with some planks. Let's put a window here of your choice. This is the glass pane, guys, and you can use any one you want. I'm using the white stained glass um, with my texture pack. Um, but it's entirely up to you which ones you want to use. Okay, so I don't know why I'm coming out here. Right, can we break those? No, we can't break those. So let's just pillar them ones to the ceiling then, like that. Makes it a little bit nicer. 
Now, in here, guys, it's entirely up to you what you want to do in this area. I mean, I would do something like put in a upside down stair here, make a little kind of table, maybe. You know, like the captain might have like a little table here. Um, maybe a little chair here. You could put something like that. Actually, we could put in right here. We could get ourselves some scaffold. And could put in a little desk there. Maybe he wants to do some work. Um, let's put a lantern on here so it's a bit brighter in here. You could put a map down or something like that. Um, but I'm going to just keep it fairly simple for in here, guys, because this tutorial has already been a very big, long build. And there's going to be a bunch of editing to go in. Um, and then what I would do is I would break where this, where this window is here. Break one to the right hand side, then two, three, four, like that. Um, we'll go ahead here, I think, and we'll use the spruce stairs because downstairs is all going to be spruce. So place a spruce there there. One down, one down, and one down there. Fill the gaps underneath like this. And that looks good. Now, where the windows are down here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually bring planks all the way across here with the spruce. And then fill that gap in like that. And I think that looks pretty good. I think the, the floor, I'm going to actually keep the floor one up. So let's just raise this bit of floor here like so. All right, guys, once you've done that and you've got all of your floor in place, go ahead and just place some planks across this like so, so that your windows look a bit better. And then what I would do down here is I would grab something like the oak trap dogs. I think it just fits in here pretty nicely. And then I'd go ahead on the outer block like that and then um, open up the shutters. Make sure they're opening on that outer one like that. And then this one here as well and this one here. And then again, repeat that for the other side. And then once you've done that, go ahead, put a plank here and here, fill this up. Then for this bit here, I'm just going to just fill this section here, I think. And then this one here again, go ahead, one across here and then just fill this gap here. Gives us a bit more room here. At the back here, I'm going to go ahead and the stairs are over here. So what I'm going to do is, I'll tell you what, let's work from the stairs first. Let's make one level up here. Something like this. We're going to get our dark oak, our stripped dark oak, that is. And what we do is right where the stair ends there, we're going to break that one there. Make a little bit there. And then I guess break one here, do the same on this side, put a single stair there so you can kind of just come up into here. It could be a little storage area or something. And then put some of these across here. Yeah, and then underneath here, break these ones and then put some upside down stairs. That looks pretty cool. A nice little storage area. And to just keep this section looking a bit better, let's just put some of these trap doors in like this. Just to cover up that little section there of the stairs. And then at the back here, we're going to do something again very similar. So we'll go maybe to about there. So we're where that where that window is, where we've got the five windows in a row, where that stops. So one block gap, and then we're going to bring this all the way over here. Fill one level in like this. Now, I don't really know too much about how boats how ships and that all look inside guys i'm not um i'm not much of an expert on that so if you guys have a better idea for the decorations then feel free to go ahead and do so then i'm just gonna break actually no i'm gonna leave that i'm gonna then go ahead and get some stairs again let's place two here and then we're gonna place upside down ones all the way across here let's put the stripped dark oak log up like so and then we're going to just put our trapdoors like this. And I think that is pretty good. In fact, we can just move that back one because it looks a bit funny on that edge. So let's go ahead and just put it back one. Like so. And then if we come around here, we can actually, um, actually we can do it from in here. Place one there temporarily and one on top. Break that one underneath. 
And there we go. We've got a little ledge there. And I think that looks pretty good. You could put some little sleeping area down here. Then you can have maybe a storage area over here. So you could fill it up with things like, um, like a bunch of barrels. Maybe something like that. Have a few barrels stacked over here in the corner. Um, yeah, it's kind of entirely up to you guys how you want to decorate it down here. But I'm not going to go too crazy. What I am going to do though is put a lantern just there. Like so. Over this side here, I guess I'll put a lantern maybe about here. And we could also throw one up here somewhere as well. Let's go. Boop. You know, but again, you could put the lanterns on like if you've got something like this. You could go ahead and put some lanterns like this rather than dotting them on top of places like that. Just to make it look a little bit more, um, a little less hidden, I suppose. There we go. Like that. A bit more storage over here, maybe. You could then put another one in there. There we go. Go ahead and decorate it up as you please, guys. Put some beds in here, some storage. You know, make this your own. However you want to do it is entirely up to you. Um, and if you want to, just go ahead and bring that out just to make it look a bit neater. But guys, I've got to say, this has actually been one of the uh, the most trickiest tutorials I've done. But I've actually really, really enjoyed doing it. Um, next time I do a boat, I'm probably going to do one a bit smaller. We've got uh, uh, This is a really big ship for the docks. But I'd like to get in a bunch of smaller boats as well. So... I think maybe next time we'll work on some smaller boats as well. And remember as well, you can go ahead and make the, the um, make the sails as you please. You know, bring in some other colors of your own if you want. So if you want to bring in some reds and stuff. Now, bearing in mind, these these sails are, have been pulled up. So the boat is docked. So the pattern that would be on, on here would be a little bit messed up. So you would want to probably put them a little bit all over the place like this. You know, you wouldn't want to put them sort of all in line or anything like that and, and make a pattern because the pattern's going to be folded up if it was if it was sort of realistic the pattern would have been folded up so doing something sort of like this maybe you know just a kind of a very random looking sort of color pattern and it should look pretty good all right guys before we go i thought i'd give you a quick look at how it looks in the docks and i've got to say i think it looks pretty awesome i'm really happy with the way that this one has turned out and uh yeah i think it is really really cool so yeah i'm i'm, I'm really happy with it i think it's going to be a great addition to the little docks here and it really adds such a bit of life here just uh kind of seeing the ship there just creates a really nice atmosphere so i absolutely love it guys i hope you guys have enjoyed it too if you did please don't forget to smash that like button and if you're new to the channel then please consider subscribing but for now this is blue nerd signing out and i will catch you guys in the next one